Guys, working in a nursing home in Chicago, my experience so far is the shit's been real ghetto. Oh my God! Okay, so welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Nurse Alyssa Monet. I'm so happy that you guys are actually interested in what I have to say. Like, bruh, I was only expecting like 500 videos. On my previous video, I got like three times that amount, and I'm so happy y'all even commented nice things. So I'm gonna keep making videos, and I'm gonna try because it's been three months since I hadn't made one freaking video. I know I suck, and I'm sorry. I just had like working going on, like being a full time nurse was kind of a transition for me. So I'm sorry, sue me, like, I'm sorry. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you wanna hear about my work experience, being a full-time nurse, LPN, in a nursing home in the city of Chicago, stick around because it's gonna be good. It's good, it's good, it's not bad, I promise, it's good. So let me just start with orientation. My orientation was two days. We learned about the, um, the their healthcare business specifically, some general rules and expectations that they have with their new employees to let them put them up on game of how they run things and basically introducing us to their home, their facility. Um, they fed us, of course, it was great. It wasn't bad at all. So the length of my orientation, the length of my orientation, like on the floor, working on the floor as a nurse, I believe I had 10 days. Now, some of you are probably thinking like, whoa, 10 days isn't enough at all. But honestly, truly, I really feel like the 10 days I had was really helpful. I didn't feel like I necessarily was thrown out onto um, the floor, like all alone, like now, now's your time, like get it together, pass these meds, do what you gotta do, know your job on point. I didn't feel like they threw me out onto the wolves at all, you know? I really felt um, guided to the floor. My, um, my, the person who orientated me, she was great. Like I worked with her daily, she was full time. So I was kind of with the same person every day. And she was great. She really showed me a lot of things, a lot of ins and outs. And, but she also showed me the correct way and the correct procedures for a lot of the things that I had to do. So I've heard horror stories as far as some people getting orientated for only three days and only two days um, for their orientation. And what I wanna say to that is don't let anyone do that to you. Not that they tried to do it to me or anything like they threw me on the floor because I've heard that that has happened to some people. Don't let them do you like that. Like it's always an option. You can always, you can always walk out the door. Honestly, I'm not even like kidding. Like you can always walk out the door. Because if you're gonna throw me on the floor into unsafe conditions, like I'm leaving, like this isn't even a place that I would wanna stay. Like even if it is a situation where you need help, you need a nurse on the floor, you don't need me. I can't even be as helpful to you as I don't know anything. Like I'm not helpful. You know what I'm saying? At this point in time, I'm not, I'm not a helpful individual right now. Like I need help, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like if you guys are experiencing that um, at a nursing home, don't let them do you like that. Stand your ground, you know what I'm saying? Don't let them don't let them play you because if you let people play you, you will get played. Simple, simple. Like not even trying to be funny or anything. Like if you let someone play you, throw you onto the floor, onto the cart, they will play you, simple. So working on the floor my first day, I was like, I wasn't terrified, but I wasn't as confident as I would have wanted to be, if that makes sense. Like I was still nervous, but in the back of my mind, I knew like, I got this, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I knew that if I came across any incidents or anything that I had a question about, I knew that someone was near to assist me. So I wasn't really too concerned. I was just nervous. It's more, it was just nerves more as being like, like first day jitters or something or like, butterflies going on for that you know that things or you hope that things will go well but you know you just can't help but feel like anxious about it you know so I wasn't too freaked out my first day actually passing meds was actually on the floor was actually pretty good it wasn't bad at all I it was actually kind of a breeze like am I lucky or something that I'm not thinking about it like it kind of was like a breeze like easy breezy not bragging but very thankful actually 
Um, as far as the patients working in the nursing home, because I've heard horror stories about the, about the amount of patients that you can have, let me just say that I've probably had from 20 to probably like 26 patients in a on like a one hall like yeah so i'll probably have that amount that amount of patience you know um what i can say is that doing that amount of patience within a nursing facility surprisingly was not that hard i don't know if i'm just some sort of trooper because i've heard ladies on youtube say and ladies in general say that that's too many for them and that's just not something that they can handle that many patients and being responsible for a, a lot of people makes them just really uncomfortable but it really wasn't that bad to me the amount of time um the two hour window handing them their meds i feel like it wasn't it's not bad you know what i'm saying you can't move particularly slow and if you do have an incident going on on the floor it may put you behind honestly truly but I feel like it's not that bad. Sometimes my meds can be a little late, but you know, like I would prefer meds being a little late than an issue with the patient specifically going unsolved. You know what I'm saying? So if you do, if you are considering going to a nursing home where you have a lot of um, residents within that facility on your floor, on your set, I feel like don't let it overwhelm you too much. You're there for eight hours. Nursing is 24 hours, honestly. So when your shift is over, someone else will definitely come and handle whatever else needs to be handled. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel pressured to breeze through and just be perfect because no one is perfect the nurses who've been there for years at that facility they're not perfect you know what i'm saying that's what i had to learn i thought that i would just go in and be perfect like meds finish like on the dot like 10 i'm done i'm off the cart <laughs> that doesn't happen like that's not really another thing that i want to talk about um is pay so the pay for me um i don't want to tell you guys my pay because you guys I don't know, like some of my friends watching it. You know, people be people be crazy. But it's around from 20 to like 28 in Chicago. I don't even know nobody who get paid 20. I'm just going to say probably like 25 to 30 in Chicago, actually, depending on the years. But the, depending on the years and your experience, definitely it can go above 30. Okay, so now I guess I can talk about my experience working with CNAs. Coming from being a CNA, I know how to do I know how to do everything that they do, you know. So, um definitely I have been trying to find a middle ground with my CNAs as far as not being friendly because naturally I'm just a friend, I'm just friendly. I'm very nice, I'm very patient. Naturally, that's just how I am like naturally. Like that's me. But being a nurse, you have to step into different shoes. Nobody's saying become a B-I-T-C-H, but to a certain extent, you have to find a middle ground from being too friendly to now you're over somebody and you have to have certain things done because if certain things aren't done, they're coming to the nurse like, oh, well, why isn't my mother this? Or why hasn't her needs been met regarding this? which is, it may be a situation that will involve you going to your CNA and being like, okay, well, I need this done when you find time. So I've been trying to have, um, I've been trying to find a middle ground regarding that. So the experience with that and becoming from, going from being, working with them to more as being a leader, I can say that it is challenging for me just a tad bit just because of how I am. Some people will go without doing certain things that they need to be done. You know, some people will pull it like they'll pull your cards. <laughs> and not to like make it sound like terrible. I get I mean, that's just life in general, like in life period, people will pull your cards if you let them. But okay. definitely if you worrying about leadership, Working in a nursing home, or if you've heard any horror stories, like I said, don't knock it until you try it. My CNAs are great. We can laugh. We can share a joke. And at the same time, we get things done. We get things handled. Because I was a CNA previously, when my CNAs do ask for help, I do help them. 
and you also have to honestly truly have to find a middle ground with that too because you being a nurse you have responsibilities and things that you need to get done so you can't always jump when they say oh can you help me you know what i'm saying unfortunately that's just real life but i do try to help my cnas as much as possible if it's something that i can do even on my own and i have time to do it with one of my residents i'll do it like i can escort you to the bathroom um miss johnson if you need it i'm here right now i can escort you to the bathroom or i can sit you on the toilet tell you to pull the light when you're finishing your cna can come get you off the toilet simple you know what i'm saying teamwork makes the dream work we're here for eight or 12 hours out of our day so let's make the honestly day go in conclusion my teammates co-workers are good my cnas are decent they're good like they're good honey the pay is good the pay is good i'm youngest i'm young as fuck making a good amount of money like literally um the hours are definitely available if you want to do doubles if you want to do like hella overtime like maybe that's available the orientation days they're available don't let anybody play you and say oh um i'm gonna orientate you for one day you're gonna get on the card tomorrow who who's getting on the card tomorrow Who's passing those tests tomorrow? Not me without any assistance. <laughs> don't let anybody play you guys. Working in a nursing home isn't that bad. Honestly, it's what you make it. You don't have to be in any position that you're uncomfortable being in, period. I have no problem exiting stage left if this job isn't for me. So that's just me though. Don't, don't. By all means, don't be like me, be better than me. So that's just my experience and i'm so grateful that you guys are watching please tell me what other videos that you want me to do like please give me some ideas um i can tell you guys how it's NCLEX in another video also so thanks for watching appreciate it i'm out